So there's nothing about her that you don't know. It's such a shame that you get here one day and I've got to go the next. But I really want to stay now that you're here. <laughs> My mum would never forgive me. Milesy, tell us, how long are you here for, Milesy? God. Wait, should I get a round of drinks, sir? No, it's all cool, because now we're, we're, we're a family, now we're going to be in the family oh, way. <laughs> what? So listen, why are you really going down there? Well, you and Oliver are like, careful when- No, no, it's not that, God. Oh, no. <laughs> I couldn't bear that, can you imagine? So, so Miles, you're from Melbourne? Yeah, yeah, Lara said, you know, she's going down and so, uh, yeah, I said uh, she could crash at mine if she needs a place. Look, doesn't matter. By the end of tonight, it'll all be sorted out one way or the other. Cheers! Cheers. So, Lara, is she okay? Yeah, yeah. No, oh, it's just, you know, I haven't seen her for that long. I was surprised that she got so much thinner. Oh, you noticed, Not huh? That I was just worried for her. I can't believe after 22 years you don't know she sticks needles in her arm. When we carted her down to her room, her bag fell open and needles came out. God, I wasn't expecting this and now it's happening and I just... Um, look, don't say anything to anyone, okay? Don't tell her. I won't tell her. Okay. Well, what's going on with this Miles guy? You've been all over him. Miles and I are just friends, okay? We've known each other for like 20 years. You know, I just get the feeling that you're keeping something from me. And if you are, how the hell can I trust you when you go down to Melbourne, huh? If you know something, can you just tell me so, I, you know, I'm clear about this? I'm, a, I'm feeling a little bit left out now. She's my best friend. I just want to know what happened. 